Welcome back in OpenSUSE Tumbleweed and uh, I just got an idea that I want to show you and that is if you don't want to start directly with a um, tiling window manager then as we've shown or as I've shown in the last video I've shown Sway under OpenSUSE then if you've got a normal installation of GNOME on Tumbleweed you can do uh, the transition in a soft way so what I can show you is there's a package in the OpenSUSE repositories for PopShell. Let's see, uh, no, I have to search of course. So yeah, so there is a GNOME shell extension for PopShell in the repository. And uh, the problem with that is that um, the repository isn't updated yet. So this version is only compatible with GNOME 44. But if you want to get uh, only the pop shell running without the launcher and so on, uh, you can do the following. And I just want to show you. So um, perhaps a word for what is a pop shell that uh, System76 is a distributor of Linux computers and they've got their own distribution with PopOS and uh, PopOS is based on Ubuntu and they've got in this PopShell their own auto tiler um, extension for GNOME so that you can use uh, tiling window manager uh, window managing under GNOME. So what we can do is we can just um, uh, for first thing we do is we install the um, recommended uh, things we need for the installation. So that's um, uh, install and then TypeScript is one thing that we need. What's the other thing and make of course we need. I don't know if that's installed so we take that too. Yeah. So this time I've got a complicated password because that's the machine I'm still using for different things. So now we've got the um yeah packages installed that we need for the, for um, making this from scratch. And what we can do is we can just clone the repository because in the um, GitHub repository, they already have updated the uh, package to uh, GNOME 45 and it's just um, GitHub, I think, and then we can do uh, pop OS and the repository must be shell. Let's see. Yes, it's correct. And if we now go just into shell here, we can see, do I have women styled? Yes. Um, let's see into the make file and uh, there's a problem with installing it by the make file and that is um, if you install and do the local installation step then as far as I know the restart cell, uh, shell script uh, step will break so we will do the steps um, independent from each other so first um, we do depth check So, and now as the second thing is compile and install. So that's already that and let's look again and then we use configure to set the hotkeys. So make configure. And he will ask me if I want to set um, the shortcuts and yes, I want that. And now everything is ready and uh, we had just have to log out and log in again once. So after logging in again. So um, now we can activate the extension and it's here in the extension manager you have a manually installed extension for gnome 
And uh, here are also the um, different things in uh, which you can uh, configure in uh, before you started, but there's also a type of uh, configuration in the thing itself. So I just activate it and you get here the extension as an icon on the bar here. And here are the different settings. For active border radius, I set normally it to 15 so that it matches the round edges of the GNOME desktop. I want to have the active hint so that I know which window is active. You can't use the launcher because we don't install that with um, the uh, pop shell here. Um, the launcher is quite difficult to get working. I haven't uh, done it yet uh, to get the launcher working on a different distribution because there are much much um, plugins that he needs to install you need just and rust for installing the launcher and i doesn't bother because here i'm just using the normal um, gnome uh, search for starting applications so uh, yeah and now what you can do is uh, you can just activate this and now we are in auto tiling mode and you can set uh, yeah uh, exceptions of this tiling behavior so for example if you want firefox always to be a floating window you can set that and uh, i will here just uh, start the terminal and uh, he will instantly uh, tile it as full screen and uh, for example if i now take a second app then i get the normal uh, tiling behavior and with uh, super and the arrow keys, you can switch behind the, um, yeah, between the uh, active um, windows. And what you can also do is, um, yeah, what else do you need to do? It's, it's just uh, normal tiling behavior now. And uh, with um, mod and Q, you can uh, close windows. So what I normally do um, when I do it like this is that I uh, make a custom shortcut. So the thing is that um, in in the normal uh, layout for GNOME, there's no uh, keyboard shortcut for the terminal. So what I do is I make an own um, terminal here. Let's just call it terminal. And uh, there's one thing you need to know so that um, it's not GNOME Terminal anymore. So I don't know if you know that. So the terminal is called um, X, uh, KGX at the moment. And uh, yeah, if I take that and do like um, Control Alt T for the terminal, I can add this one here. And now I've got the possibility to. Uh, why doesn't it do it? Is it still GNOME Terminal? No, I don't think so. Ah, okay, so it's, it's still GNOME Terminal here. Okay, it's still GNOME Terminal, so um, that I didn't know, that's... Uh, Something uh, on Arch, they have already um, KGX uh, in the repositories and use that one. So, um, but it's not a problem. So, if you want to configure that, then just uh, put GNOME Terminal in it and uh, like here in the commands, do it again. And we enter here GNOME Terminal like that. So, and now we can uh, start terminals and so on. And uh, the tiling, as you see, is here um, in the style that you um, go down. Um, and I think you can also, yeah, if you do um, command um, Y, uh, then you have uh, float, uh, the floating modus uh, on. So if you command Y, you can toggle between floating and uh, tiling mode. And if you press 
command shift up and down um i think then you can switch between no what was it down and left i think there's of course but there's a overview over the hotkeys so um yeah this is here a new installation so he asked that every time so uh, here is the overview over the keys which you can use and um yeah switch the focus and uh, swift ah okay so I wanted to see there's a, a way to um, maximize one window over the others and then go back. So let's see it's super M. Ah, yeah, okay. So um, that's the one. So you can with uh, super, uh, super M here maximize and unmaximize the windows. That's quite handy if you want to have something and uh, don't want to uh, disturb your uh, tiling, but just need it at the moment in full screen, then you can just toggle between the two. Yeah, and uh, that's everything I wanted to show you today. Um, and uh, it works quite fine, and it's a nice, uh, easy transition if you want to give tiling a try. And uh, here you are totally in the GNOME environment and uh, you can easily uh, switch it on and off uh, how you need it. And uh, for me, it's quite a nice way to work with GNOME. And uh, yeah, and you don't need to do the hard way with uh, Tiling Window Manager. Of course, if you later want to switch to something like uh, Sway or Hyperland, then uh, give it a try. But uh, with this, you can start with the whole experience. Yeah, so thank you for watching and bye.